What is good, YouTube? It's a snowy evening. I haven't posted in a little while because I haven't been driving the Type S. And yeah. So, I had a bunch of stuff coming, but uh, essentially it's not going to... Five or six items aren't going to be here for probably another week, so... I have three items. A little unboxing for you guys. So the first one, we'll go we'll go in order of importance. The first one the Carceps Idle Air Bypass Control Thermal Valve Delete. It's very simple, just a pretty much just a plug, a band clamp, and a a little uh fucking nipple so that's uh as soon as it warms up man i'm putting this on get rid of that stupid unnecessary stuff and then ooh, mind my appearance i haven't gone out in days <laughs> And then, this isn't even for my car or anything, but this is a birthday gift for my mom. Nice little artwork. She's a Fiat owner, so we got her the Fiat 500 poster. Kind of just simple, I mean, I don't know. She really likes her Fiat, so I thought she'd like it. Even though hers is a, a Gucci Fiat, like a newer gen, not an old, you know, 70, or what are they? 57 to 75. <laughs> I was thinking 60, but I didn't know if that was too early or not. This uh, took a little bit to get here. It was coming all the way from England. Booyah. And the pricing for that was actually pretty ridiculous for what it is. I mean, it's just a poster, essentially. Or a print, or whatever. But, uh, yeah, the thing costs like 80 bucks shipped. So, pretty expensive. But, you know, hey, I liked that. I thought she would like it, so... What can you do? And then, let's get to the big boy. The spoon valve cover is here. And by spoon I mean replica spoon, of course. Because I'm not I'm not paying five hundred and something dollars for a valve cover. That's just I know these people in Pennsylvania do really good uh powder coating and painting and stuff and uh for the money I paid for this I could have if I was gonna get a spoon, I could have four of these, pretty much. So if you scratch the spoon one you're fucked. If something gets dirty or, you know, has a mark on it or doesn't look the way it's supposed to, you're fucked. You, you have to pay $500 for a valve cover. I mean, this thing's just smooth. It feels like, you know, even do that letter polishing and all that. And 
The only thing I can see that's different from a, a true spoon one is if you look at like, you know, your breather valve, bur valve vent or whatever, if you look really close, usually the spoon one is like taped off and it's just silver metal. And even like uh, right here, they paint this too. They paint like every like every surface of it so it's like more solid basically and you're not going to see it anyway like as soon as it's installed it's going to look exactly the same because I mean this is pretty pretty true to a, a mirror yellow like spoon yellow in my opinion I mean it's just been so cold the past like week that I haven't even been able to install this like I've been waiting for a new valve cover it's just you know I know it's not performance or anything like that it just makes the bay just look so much better have this stupid heat wrap gold yellowish gold tape and you know j blood carbon kevlar uh spark plug cover and stuff like that and it has like hints of yellow in it it's like almost like yellow and green carbon kevlar but yeah just it's gonna tie the room together so much more <laughs> And cleaning up the bay, getting rid of the stupid like idle air assist and thermal bypass control, uh, delete that and get a catch can installed and stuff like that. Still waiting to hear back from LHT about them doing me a, a three line system or else I'm just going to have to pretty much build my own. But it's not beyond me. I know a welder who can weld me up a baffled breather box and, you know, weld some bungs on it and then. Pretty much I can go from there. I mean, I wish I had a welder welding unit myself because I would just do it and save money. But, I mean, I've known the guy since high school, so he could probably hook it up or something. But, yeah, I mean, for, I got this for uh, under $200. I'll just put it to you that way. So, definitely uh, cost effective for the same essential looking thing. You know what I mean? And of course, someone wants me to hop on 2K. Mm. Yeah. I bought us 15 minutes. There we go. If you look at the quality of it, I mean, this is like powder coated then painted. And the etching on the letters, I mean, I already showed you guys, but if I can get up even closer. Just solid looking. And he did the Honda one too. It was like uh, the F series motors, because my Type S K28 2 comes with Honda Motor Company, which is something wrong with that. I mean, I, I kind of like it in some in some aspects, but I think just Honda is just, you know, it's going to get it. It looks like the F-Series valve cover, you know what I mean? That's what it reminds me of. But yeah, definitely excited to get the rest of my stuff. Uh, see what else we got coming. Oh, dude, also, uh, hmm. Well, I don't know if you guys know or not, Honda Vlogs. I don't know if you guys watch that channel. He just subscribed to me and reached out to me. Dude seems really nice. Seems really cool. Um, you know, he said that... Here, I'll read it from the horse's mouth. Man, you're going far, dude. Loving where this is going, dude. You know what I mean? Like, I've only been going at it for like... A year basically of just like putting my money into my car you know what I mean I used to when I first got the car like a decade ago all I did to it was put an intake on it a uh, buddy club spec 4 exhaust and lowered it and that was like good enough for me back then because I was like just you know I was into other stuff I was into music and being in bands and uh, skateboarding and painting and drawing I'm still into those things but like cars is just kind of like got me by the death grip, you know what I mean? 
Because, like, building your car, it's just, like, a big puzzle. Like, you, even if you bought a turbo right now, you're going to need, like, other shit for the turbo. Like, the puzzle never ends, basically. You're never satisfied. You're like, oh, what's next? What's next? What's next? And then you spend about $80,000, and essentially you're happy. Like, you're like, okay, now I want another car. I want to start over and do it again. So, but, yeah, if you guys haven't checked out Honda Vlogs, check out Honda Vlogs, guys. It's kind of like almost like a, a Honda news show, like of all the YouTubers. That's what it reminds me of. It's like a recap show, and I just think that's dope. That's something you usually don't see. It's like almost like watching like uh, kind of like a late night TV skit, but it's not like it's not comedy based necessarily. It's just like vital information about Honda YouTubers and something you don't see every day. I mean, he's only got eleven hundred subs. I mean, he definitely needs more than that. I mean, he's like shouting out Zaj, that dude in blue. He said he was gonna give me a shout out in the next one. I'm like, what? I'm a I'm a peon. Like, <laughs> I know about Hondas a little bit. You can always learn more. And you know, my build is like a fifth, like uh, five percent of the way there. <laughs> I have so many plans for the car. Like, seriously. It's something to be funny. Here, here's my valve cover. It covers up my Moog. <laughs> It'd be funny to sit the Moog in this, like, have this as, like, if you had to spare one of these and just, like, put it like this and then, like, house the Moog inside there, like, that would be pretty fucking hilarious. Cars meet music. But, yeah. Definitely looking excited to see where that goes, and... It's always nice for all the support guys, like, uh, I mean, I only have, uh, let's see, 36 subscribers. It's like nothing, but it's like everything, because, I mean, you put yourself out there, but I'm not, like, publicizing myself, putting myself out there. That's the best part, like, even though I only got, like, less than 50 subs, I feel like I know you guys, or you guys are homies, you know what I mean? That's... It's essentially the, the struggle. Like, do you want 100,000 subscribers that are assholes? Or a lot of them are assholes or jerks or just, like, watch you just, like, to talk shit or, you know, badger your build or what you're doing. Like, you're doing it wrong or this or that. Like, I'd rather have, like, a tenth of the number of big people that have, like, 100K or a million or 2 million subs. And they have to deal with all the fucking clickbait. They have to deal with all the spam all the hate speech and all that stuff like I really don't want it to ever get to that point but I mean that's kind of the way it is when you you're a YouTuber an internet person so but I mean 36 of you guys are rad seriously I really appreciate the support I mean I'm not even monetizing my videos so that gives you any idea I probably will one day like once we get up there but it's not really, like, my mission to get money from it, you know? I'm just doing it, just putting my two cents out there, how I would build my Honda, my DC5, and plans and pulls and product reviews and installations and showing people, like, you know, getting the knowledge out there. Like, if you don't know how to put a fucking valve cover on, you're going to learn today. And if you don't know how to change your spark plugs, you're going to learn today. You know what I mean? So, like, human intelligence is, like gone so far and come so to a screeching halt because of technology because like smartphones and shit like that I mean we're all connected but like I don't know to me smartphones kind of get in the way like when people are like you're like talking to them or something like that or you know we're less connected like humanly but more technologically basically that's like where we're at now and it's dope but you gotta have a nice balance of both or else we're going to forget so much shit and 10,000 years from now people are going to be doing the same shit over and over. Like we got to we definitely got to keep ourselves in the loop like of a balance. Uh, I digress. I haven't driven my car in 3 days. I'm itching. I'm itching for my DC5. But yeah, I just thought that was dope. Like, that happened a couple hours ago. I was like, what? 
people are starting to catch on. And I got a shout out to Flying Gato because he definitely made it blatantly obvious to me, hey, you should title your videos better so people can search it instead of just like vlog number 37 or, you know, DC5 vlog. <laughs> like put the whole make, model, and year of your car in the description and then put a colon and then whatever the subject is, you know, installing wheels, body kit, new motor, or whatever, you know what I mean? So definitely shout out to Elias for that. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. We got sidetracked. Let's see what other parts. Are. I wouldn't look at the fact that he hey, has a wrong pad. some sort of thing that you need to make this. There he is. What's this guy's name? Christian Perez, Honda Vlogs. Now you know. All right, my other parts coming. Partially shipped. We already got one of them. Man, this shit's gonna take forever. Alright, they already shipped the IABCT valve delete. We already got that. And then, uh, only other, like, real big item I have coming is the Aquity TPS sensor and calibration harness. It's like 120 bucks. Pretty excited about that. Hopefully, that will help the idle, maybe, or the the shitty TPS bucking, like it going like a revving and acting stupid. Then uh, for the spark plug cover for one, two, three, one, two, three, or one, two, three. For these six perimeter housings, like uh, I got new uh, hex caps because mine are ugly looking. I mean, if you're gonna go all out on this, I feel like never noticed that before. It has kind of like a little dent in it. But that's like super minor. I mean, the thing about that is it's going to be covered up by my J-Blood. Like, this cutout right here, stock spark plug just goes into here. Like, up and an L. But mine goes the whole way of this. It's just like a rectangle and it, it's going to cover up this Honda thing, which is quite unfortunate, but I don't care. But, um... Yeah, I got the, you know, if you're going all out on this, basically, you want to get new hardware, you know what I mean? Like, what the hell is the point? I mean, I got six new hex caps for $8. Not bad. And I probably could have got them for less if they weren't Honda, you know, if I just went to a hardware store, but I don't know if they'd be the same spec. And then, uh, where this one will go, the stud that was in here is rung off. I, I over torqued it too much because these only take like seven feet pounds of torque you would think uh it'd be like 10 or 15 or something like that but it's actually only seven so that's that's why i rung it off definitely and then uh i had to order one of those another valve colt Ugh, i can't even talk valve cover bolt a it's like seven dollars so got that and then the only other thing i got so far coming is the K-Tuned Idle Air Assist Delete Kit. 23 bucks. Not too bad. Really simple though. I could have like, went to a hardware store and probably put that together for like $10. But just saving, you know, a trip to a fucking Harbor Freight or a hardware store or something. Or Lowe's, you know what I mean? Like, might as well just spend $10 extra and just get somebody to ship the right stuff to you. You didn't have to go through 20 aisles and ask a bunch of clerks that don't want to help you or just you know moving shit around they're like oh i'm busy go ask him <laughs> but yeah those are the things that are uh on the way or soon to be on the way already paid for them they're processing it's been uh i think six days i yeah i placed it on the first and today's the seventh so that's a little bit of a wait but they say some Companies, you know, take extra days to process and ship it out to them or something like that, so it is what it is, but I am a little disappointed, but I think it has to do with the fact that when you spend more money, they take you more seriously because that fucking HKS exhaust came the next day after I ordered it. They fucking overnighted it to me, which was 
I didn't pay a dime for shipping, so that was hilarious. I was like, all right, uh, $300 of shipping? Thank you. <laughs> but let's see, on my uh, wish list on K-Series, uh, after we go K24, it'd be nice to go Wiseco 1281 compression pistons and rods for the K24. That'd be pretty dope. It's like 800 bucks. Uh, Gretty Black Magnetic Drain Plug, $27. I think we can get that going. <laughs> if the Aquity doesn't work, you know, and the TPS is still prone to vibration or just being a shitty TPS, uh, Evans Tuning made me aware of this. You can get the K-Tune B-Series TPS adapter and then take a, a BD or H-Series, you know, TPS off the throttle body because you could pick one of those up for way cheaper than a, a new type s throttle body because that's the only way you can get the tps is if you order the throttle body so you can get like a d series for like 40 or 50 bucks from a junkyard and you know if the sensor's good check the sensor with a, a voltmeter that's 50 bucks and then this adapter is 59 bucks you get a brand new tps setup that are, is better than a k series because they're prone to vibration uh, for a hundred and nine dollars. It's a lot better than like six hundred bucks for a new throttle body that's gonna die in eighty thousand miles anyway. Uh next, uh K Tune tucked engine harness kit. I mean it's a little expensive but for what it is it's gonna save you a lot of time and effort, so like six hundred dollars is pretty not that bad. K tuned uh high pressure radiator cap vibrant three-quarter inch uh, spark plug boot insulators those look kind of dope and they do something you know keep your spark plug wires and stuff safe to go with this I'm gonna be replacing all the vacuum lines with a uh, vibrant hoses in blue so it's like a blue and yellow spoon theme innovative mount 75 A's 380 bucks I mean definitely need to get better motor mounts because I want the no flex on the motor, you know what I mean? I do not want the motor moving. Because that means your transmission's moving too, most likely, and cause a misshift or something like that. And now we're getting into territory where I'm just dreaming. Uh, Spoon Sports uh, brake caliper kit, $1,600, but definitely be really dope. Definitely with like some four pot calipers. Then the, uh, this is actually a serious one K Tune Master Slave Cylinder and Clutch Line Package, just 230 bucks and all the times you've misshifted, you know, going from first to second, you grind a gear when you're shifting like really fast towards red line, especially towards 8600 if you have a reflash or K Pro. Um, clutch delay valve is the, most likely the reason you're misshifting. It's not your clutch foot, it's, it's that valve, you know, intermittently, like, you know, you shift and it's like you're shifting too fast for it to think basically and give the fluid to getting the gear right or to the synchro or whatever magic goes on there. <laughs> I don't know that much about transmissions, honestly. But yeah, that's like a 230 bucks well spent. Then uh, lug nuts, that's, you know, kind of on the back burner. I already have lug nuts, but <laughs> uh, Exeti, uh four puck ceramic metallic clutch kit. That'd be pretty dope. It's 446 and then get the uh, the eight pound flywheel, that'd be really nice because I'm gonna need a clutch here in about a thousand to two thousand miles, I'd say. And then, uh, like, uh, I don't know how I feel about this one. I just put it in the, the basket in my wish list because I don't even really know if it's gonna help anything, you know what I mean? Because, like, you either hydro lock or you don't, but the AEM intake system I have, they have a a filter air filter wrap. Pre-filter air filter wrap. That's a mouthful. But yeah, it basically if you have a red uh, air cleaner on your, or air filter, on your intake pipe and you're trying to get a spoon theme, blue and yellow, the red kind of fucks with it, you know what I mean? Like, so this is basically just like a mesh bag that goes around it and uh, essentially just makes it look black. And it says AEM in yellow, so like, you know, black and yellow is definitely better than red and no yellow, so 
I feel like that's kind of, you know, it helped the, the aesthetic of the bay with the blue and yellow. Speaking of blue and yellow, K-Tune blue fuel rail kit, center feed, 225, pretty dope. Definitely need some bigger injectors to go on that. If I wasn't going spoon calipers, this uh, StopTech drilled and slotted rotors kit with uh, Hawk HPS's front and rear, 569, pretty, pretty good fucking deal. And braided uh, stainless steel, braided brake lines, so, I mean, that's like 600 bucks, essentially, and... You're getting front and rear new brakes, brake pads, and I think the only thing you would need is, uh, hold on, let me see, it doesn't come with calipers, does it? Yeah, it just comes with uh, rotors and brake pads and lines, basically, which is, even at that, that's still really good, I mean, then, uh, yeah, like I said, RC injectors and the plug-and-play clips for that. Not too bad. What else we got? Gonna see how the hardware looks on this, and if I don't like the way it looks, I'm gonna probably go skunk to low-profile valve, uh, valve cover hardware. Cause it just looks, like, so sleek. I mean, it's, like, literally fucking flat, as opposed to, like, washers and then a hex cap, so... We'll see how that looks and do, you know, comparison of the two. And about injectors, like, since I'm going NA and roughly shooting for 300 horsepower, you know, I mean, I, if I can get more off NA, that'd be dope. But I, I think 300 is a very generous figure for a K24 setup. What size injector should I run? Because, like, correct me if I'm wrong, like, uh, aren't stock type S injectors, like, either, like, is it 220 or like 4 or 40 or something like that? Or, cause like I see these RC injectors, 550 CC injector pack for 378. Like, if 550 is good enough, cause I don't need no thousand, I don't think I'm gonna need a thousand CCs for an NA setup unless like it really needs that much fuel. But I feel like it really wouldn't. But I guess it depends on what the stock size is. Like, if a stock size is 440, then maybe 750 CC. You tell me, all you smart people. <laughs> uh, buddy club, roll center, adjustable ball joints, because it'd be nice to be able to adjust your ball joints, because probably help with, like, fucking the stiffness of the ride or comfort of the ride or something. Then uh, I found these uh, replica DC5 Type R style. I mean, they essentially look exactly the same. They really don't look any different. Uh, pedal assembly and dead rest. If you bought that OEM JDM Honda part, it's probably going to cost you, and it's used too, it's not even like fucking brand new, it's probably going to cost you around $220. This thing cost uh, it's the same pieces except for the actual pedal assembly, like it's just the pedals that you put on your pedal assembly, but 89 bucks. I mean, that's cutting the price and more than half like it's almost like a third of the price so that's pretty dope uh super tech dual valve spring and retainer 92 psi because uh we definitely want that nine nine grain rev limit <laughs> and then some more uh ngk laser iridium spark plugs probably need to get some more of those in a couple thousand miles so, uh, Samco Sport hoses. I mean, I would buy Spoon, but they're like three hundred dollars for a fucking two radiator hoses. So mm, I think I'll just go Samco. It looks, looks exactly the same color of blue. Uh, Xetti lightweight flywheel. It's two eighty four. Not too bad, especially for eight pounds. The thing better, better hold up. It's so lightweight. <laughs> and then the energy suspension uh, bushing kit for front and rear sway bar and uh, control arms and stuff like that. 125 bucks, not too bad. But yeah, guys, I think that wraps up uh, stuff I got, stuff that's coming, and the stuff that's going to be coming. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I can't think of anything else to say. <laughs> but yeah, I think i uh, probably get this installed within... At least the next week or two. I'm hoping a couple, maybe 
find somewhere indoors to work on nice garage or shop or something like that and get this done get this knocked out i might even wait a little bit until i get more parts because the only things i really have to put on my car right now are those five things uh that pretty much all revolve around this and the two delete kits and then uh a tps sensor and then uh i also have the energy suspension motor mount inserts to still knock out so we got our work cut out for us. Let's keep her nice and nice and safe. Oh, that's another thing too. Uh, you can look on the inside. Like uh, most people wouldn't even paint it; they would just tape it off completely. But like up into, I mean, all of it looks pretty much painted like through and throughout. I mean, they didn't waste any paint like super far in there, but like the face of it is still yellow and. I like it. You guys want to check them out? Bonehead Performance on uh, eBay. They have an eBay store and a website. And they powder coat anything. They have tons of colors and they are totally reasonable. So, if you guys want to check them out, if you need powder coating, I would suggest them. They got this out to me super quick. They actually. They actually, I talked to them and they sold out of uh, the baby blue one, wrinkle blue, and then they had no spoon ones on there, so I made the suggestion to them, uh, why don't you guys, uh, I'll send you my valve cover, I'll buy, they had a hot pink one, which was like, nothing against people like hot pink, but uh, it's not what I'm going for in my bay. I, it was 150 bucks, and I was like, can I buy this one from you and you just repaint it for me? Like, you know, uh, wrinkle red or, or wrinkle blue or spoon yellow. And he was like, yeah, another guy's been asking about spoon yellow. We're going to, I have about 50 of these valve covers and I'm going to knock them out and I'll get back to you after the holidays and all that stuff. So I was like, word, sounds good. So then like after the holidays, like a couple of days after Christmas, uh, I go onto their site and there's like, 30 new valve covers and I was like whoa that's a lot I have selections now there's all these reds and crazy greens and like all kinds of shit so I was like huh I'm gonna sit on this and think about it for a couple of days so then I read the description and it's like this is not the actual item this is a powder coating service it will take uh, up to seven days to get your item custom made to order I was like eh that kind of sucks but then I did it anyway and then three days later, my valve cover shows up, and I was they were like, yeah, we just let you have the display photo one that we made, and because you asked first, basically, and I was like, wow, thanks, I really appreciate that. And yeah, that's how we got it so quick. But uh, wrapping everything up, uh, new content to come. I'll try to upload more. Just spend all the snow, man. Can't drive around. R-rated tires, but yeah. You guys take it easy. I'll catch you next time. Peace.